hi guys welcome back today's video's topic is function and we have already completed all these four features uh, lambda expressions functional interface default method and predicates and we also have the sep separate videos all these features so if you haven't watched all these just go through the my channel and we have this playlist here and watch all these four videos if you haven't watched yet okay so if you don't want to watch these three videos uh, please watch this particular predicates videos uh, to continue uh, with this uh, today's video which is function okay so without waste time let us start our today's uh, video so first thing first uh, the way we are practicing from the first day first we are completing a little bit theoretical part and then we will move to the practical implementation right this is our way of learning okay so what is a function is uh, as we know like this is a functional interface right and what is a functional interface which have only one method inside that we discuss this in uh, first day like in first videos when we are starting this course right so in this video like what is a function is it is exactly same as a predicates okay and expect one uh, differences here and what is that expect uh, the, that function can return any type of result but the function should can return only one value that value can be typed as per our requirement okay if this is a little complex let me make you understand when we discuss uh, predicates uh, in our previous video uh, predicate is a boolean valued function right we discussed there so what is a boolean valued function if you not uh, remember uh, the predicate can only able to return a boolean value like true or false right but that is uh, this case is not available uh, with function it can return a one value and that value can be any type either it is string it is boolean either it is integer any type but it's totally depend on our requirement what value we need in return okay got it this is a difference only between function and predicate that's why i told you to watch this video okay so now the second point is function interface presenting java.util function package okay and functional interface contain only one method uh, as we discussed for applying all these things like from all these functional interface we have to call one method in case of predicate we have test method right if you remember and in this uh, we have apply method so what is syntax for this the syntax for this particular thing like uh, for function is like we have to say interface function and we have two return type and uh, here this is a return type for like what is the argument you are passing and uh, sorry uh, yeah this is a type what is the argument you are passing and this is a return type okay this is a return type right so and uh, this is syntax of the method present inside the functional interface or function okay so public r and what is r is here return type okay and this is t the r the type of argument you are passing and what is the r is the type of return type the value which the function will return right uh, in general when we are declaring our uh, method so how we are returning here like public void or public integer public boolean so uh, this is a case here right this is a type of return value and this is a type of your argument which you are passing t so got it completely what is the syntax is right so let me show you one example so you can have clear picture what is a function is okay then we will discuss a pretty uh, good important question uh, like last time when i mean uh, discuss like attending an interview then our interviewer asked me a question that what is the difference between the predicates and function so we will discuss that okay after the we will see the practical implementation of function so uh, let me make one class here test I will go with the class name test you can take any class name no matter right so uh, I will create one uh, main method here okay and suppose uh, I want to use a function so function okay and if you can see here java.util function right so just go with this okay now if you can check here as i told you we have two argument here right sorry two types here this is for your 
what your argument you are passing and this is for return time right there are the various ways of doing like play with the function okay i'm showing uh one way of doing this so you can try the some other ways okay yeah so now i will give the name to this my function is i so why uh for what i'm writing this functional interface uh so let me write a comment down here as uh, write a function for um, write a function for string length okay write a function uh, to return right yeah as you when we are in a college that like write a program for right <laughs> okay so as and here we are writing a lambda expression okay so uh, yeah this will not work right now here so first we have to pass our argument here uh, types what is the type we needed so what a argument we will pass at time of calling our function i will say string and in return time what i want like to be my function to be return i want my uh, string length so what it is integer okay and uh, yeah here we will write a lambda expression now it will work uh, last time uh, like uh, why it's not working here because we haven't passes this types uh, type of argument and type of return type okay now do one thing uh, say so okay and uh, say i dot apply and i will pass my name here i show me and i have seven uh, character here right so it will return a seven uh, in result set so as you as you can see here right it is returning a seven here right yeah this is all mean of uh, like function there's a like various ways of uh, play with the function you can do it so if you can check for uh, some other thing like some other uh, string also so let me do for uh, kumar right and uh, i will run this so first is seven and second is five right so you can do this right uh, you can uh, work with that and you can play with the function so as I say, there's a lot of ways to use this uh, particular function. You can uh, check and if you have any question, you can comment down. I will help you with that. Okay. So that's why I'm saying like it is a pretty simple and uh, like exactly same with a uh, like predicate. Only one difference is there for return type. In predicate, if you remember, we have to pass here only one argument, right? That is return, uh, like what is the argument we are passing. Okay. Now the important question. The difference between predicate uh, and function so let's i have to show you the one image here which i have created for you so uh, let me choose this yeah first thing uh, to this predicate what is it is to implement a conditional check uh, at the time of discussion also i have uh, told you right uh, like why why we are when we are going with like uh, if an interviewer ask you like when uh, when should you choose a predicate and when uh, when you will choose a function so that time when i am uh, making a video also then i have discussed with you like we will go a predicate when we have a, some requirement of conditional check and uh, i want to be a uh, my predicate to be written uh, like uh, true or false so to implement a conditional check so we should go for a predicate conditional check like true or false like my value is uh, smaller or my value is greater like i want to check a value of i so it is smaller than 10 or it is greater than 10 so in that case like example i'm giving right so we should go with predicate and in uh, in some cases if you want to perform some operation and you want to return a uh, you want to have a some value right not a conditional you want to perform some operation then you should go for a function okay and uh, second difference is like uh, this is a like predicate right and it have only this single argument right and this it is a input type type of input type like what is the argument you are passing and in case of function we have this uh, first one is a type of argument and type of written value right and second uh, sorry third is it has only one method yeah 
for applying that uh, particular predicate we have test and applying for a particular function we have apply method and it can return only boolean value like true or false and it can return any type of value depend on our record uh, requirement but it can return only one value right and here is a one small note like predicate uh, is a boolean valued function as we discussed and here predicate is a boolean value function and it has and or negate and default methods all these are default method as we discussed in previous video right like and we are uh, uh, use and for uh, like result for uh, combining uh, two predicates right and or negate right inside a predicate so th this is all about today's video so if you have any doubt just comment down i will help you with that okay till then bye bye see you in the next video